Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take any typeface on your computer and make it a, a sketchy, scribbly typeface that uh, is really kind of dynamic and cool. You might have seen something like this in a few places. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's uh, it's really cool because you can uh, take this this effect that we're going to make and you can apply it to any typeface on your computer. So uh, so keep that in mind and stay tuned. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select our type tool and we're going to get some sample text. And I, uh, I already chose a typeface, uh, Arial Black, uh, 60 points. And that's just simply so you guys can see it. You can do it with anything that you want. The bolder ones usually work a little better. So I'll just type something out here. <clears throat> Glaze Folio Design Blog, because that's probably where you're seeing this, either that or on YouTube. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in onto it for you guys as well. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is, with our text selected, we're going to remove any style, uh, any uh, color, any uh, stroke or full color, and you just do that by going over to your colors here and just uh, removing it with the uh, the none button here. And uh, now we have no fill or stroke on our text, and that's important because the next thing that we're going to do is open up our uh, appearance panel and. Uh, it's usually attached to graphic styles here, which we'll be using both, um, but mostly the appearance one. And if you don't see it, like I don't, you go to Window, and you go down to Appearance, and it, it's open right there. <clears throat> now with your text selected still, you go over to your Options here, and you go to Add New Fill. And that will fill in your text. And it's important to do this because of the next step, which is, you go up to Effect, and you go down to um, Stylize, and down to scribble, and then this is where uh, this is where we need to add uh, a few settings here. And I've I've already got them figured out for you. Uh, go uh, angle 45. Your path uh, stays at zero. Your variation goes to two. The stroke width goes to one. Curviness goes to zero. Variation goes to 50 percent. Spacing will go to two and your variation will go to one. As you can see, the spacing uh, made a big change there, so go ahead and feel free to play around with these, but I already uh, figured out this one works pretty well. And then I'll press OK. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I'll go to my stroke right here, and I'm going to just simply add a, a stroke of uh, two points. <coughs> and that'll, uh, you'll get an effect like that. And it's already starting to look pretty good. Um, the next thing that I'm going to want to do, though, is I'll go up to effect again, and I'll go down to um, Distort and Transform, and then to uh, Roughen. This is uh, just going to roughen the edge a little bit. So we're going to do 0.5% uh, at the top. We'll do Relative. We're going to do um, 30 in that box. And we're going to do Smooth. And we'll just press OK. And as you can see, that just kind of kind of roughens the edge a little bit. And if you're a, a hardcore uh, typographer, that's something that's probably going to bother you. Uh, it bothers me a little bit, but, uh, you know, if it bothers you a lot, don't do it. But it, it kind of, it, it just adds a little bit to the, the scribble effect. Um, so you kind of just have to get over the fact that uh, it, you're pretty much changing the font when you do that. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, <coughs> we have our scribbly font. And uh, we can, uh, what we'll do now is simply um, go over to our graphic styles. And like I said, if you don't see that, go up to Window, down to Graphic Styles, and open it. <clears throat> and uh, with your, your text selected here, you'll just simply go to your Graphic Styles uh, tool palette and click on the New Graphic Styles button. And it should make a new Graphic Styles with your, um, your sketchy text. And you can uh, get rid of this appearance bar keep your graphic styles open. Uh, I'll just show you simply that you can uh, change the typeface and it'll be fine. Uh, we'll go from area to uh, let's go to Baskerville and as you can see it's still still the same there. Uh, let's do Franklin Gothic would be a good one to test it out with. Yeah, so you can see that it, it changes there. And uh, let's go ahead and delete that and we'll retype it.
And this is why we created our style down there. I'll just change this back to Arial Black. So now with this text selected, since we saved that effect, all we have to do is click here. And it'll change it to uh, the effect that we just did. And that's how you do that. And I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Please tell your friends. Uh, please sub, uh, subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to uh, <clears throat> my Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. Thanks again.